Nigga, we Yo, 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 yeah, it's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This is another Shizzy Lit Podcast. You understand me? Straight to the topic and shit. Now that all the Murray Jane is getting legal all everywhere and shit, and not saying I never seen one of these kind of commercials or heard one of these kind of commercials before. But now they extra, extra stressing the DUI with the weed. Now it ain't all about the drinks. Now that they know, hey, bye. Fucking with the grass because it's legal and all that shit. They gonna find a way to fuck it up for you. Like, like y'all moving too freely around here. Y'all motherfuckers moving too freely. And some motherfuckers definitely can't handle their weed and shit. They probably motherfucking need. That shit probably is needed. Just for a handful of motherfuckers and shit. But it's the DUI joint. They say they. You drive high, get a DUI shit. So now the weed smokers and shit got to deal with the bullshit. We always used to play around and joke the Lord drunk niggas. Ah, right, y'all can't drink and drive. I can get high to listen to that. I feel, you know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm a do it. I don't promote nobody else to break the law, but I ain't saying I'm a, I've been doing this shit for 25 years. I ain't never fucked that down. You know what I'm saying? Not going wood, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit is extra strong and official these days, so never know. But yeah, that's the new rule. I just wanted to put y'all down, just in case y'all thought it was a game and shit. You know, feel me? I remember, I remember um commercials from back in the late '90s and shit with that shit. You know, feel me? When the weed craze went crazy, when everybody started blowing bread, they definitely will start putting up the little DW weed, DWI weed videos and shit. You know what I mean? So, they back in full effect with that joint. I'm just letting y'all know. So, don't get caught up out that bitch. Keep some visine. Keep some motherfucking blunt veal and some smoke eliminator. You know feel me? And, um, <laughs> enjoy your life. But, yeah, don't be smoking that super crazy dumb shit and then try to get behind the wheel. Because even though you don't be, even though if you ain't as bad as like a drunk driving shit, you still will do some goofy shit being high. Behind that wheel and shit. Little reaction time definitely slow down by like two seconds. The little two seconds. Matter. So yeah, I'm 50 50 with the joint, but baby, I did that shit for so long, and I should have you to feel me. I might not say I'm gonna go on and obey that joint, but I advise anybody else to obey that shit. I've been smoking like a champ. You know, feel me? So my tolerance is not that motherfucking high like that. You know, feel me? Well, my shit is extra high. That's the point. So I don't get high like anybody goofy, be all goofy and all that shit. That's a part of natural part of my life. I just wanted to let y'all know that's the that's the new wave out here. So watch your asses out there. You, I know niggas like to roll and smoke. You know, feel me? I don't know if it's every state. You know, feel me? I don't know if it's in every state, but we shall see. Y'all know how I keep y'all formed on that joint. You know, feel me? Lord WTF News, Shizzy Lit Podcast, Conglomeration Action. I'm out. New at five, while recreational weed is now legal in Arizona, driving with it in your system is against the law. Max Gordon shows us how police are cracking down on marijuana DUIs and what you need to know to stay above the law. A traffic stop for a marijuana-related DUI will usually begin like an alcohol-related one, but a breathalyzer for marijuana isn't commonly available for law enforcement, so they have to find a different way to detect the drugs in your system. That's where the differences begin. Often a drug recognition expert gets called out, and if it's determined the driver's impaired, marijuana DUI investigations in Arizona require a blood test. If you just have marijuana in your system, that's all it takes. But taking blood is a specialized skill. And the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office says it's still waiting to see if more deputies will need to be trained with the legalization of recreational weed. So new out of the chute, uh, we don't know if we're going to need an increase in phlebotomists. The governor's office of highway safety says there are no specific statewide staff regarding marijuana-related DUIs in Arizona, but at least one lawyer here says he's seen an increase in cases ever since medical marijuana came to Arizona. In the last five to ten years, certainly, is an uptick in, in, in clients who are calling me who have been injured in accidents with people have used marijuana. There's simple advice for avoiding a DUI. If you've used marijuana... Don't get behind the wheel. But there's still a lot that isn't known. Because of the federal laws with regards to marijuana, there hasn't been a lot of research with regards to marijuana impairment in driving. Still, with some using it for the first time, one lawyer offers this rule of thumb. Don't drive within 12 hours 
of consuming marijuana. Enforcement methods for marijuana-related DUI might be different than alcohol-related DUI, but the penalties are the same. If found guilty, you could be facing jail time, fines and fees, and the suspension of your license. Max Gordon, Arizona's Family. Get it.